Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a really exciting video. We have this 2022 M3 Comp X Drive, but this one's been tastefully modded with a few little exterior modifications. And it also has recently a downpipe, or you already had the downpipe, right? Yeah. Well, it has a downpipe, cow's downpipe, and an E50 uh, off the shelf boot, mo boot mod. Is yes. it boot mod or boot mode? Boot mode. Boot mode? Boot mode, boot boot mode, mode three yeah. tune. So, how much power do you think it should be making right now? Uh, like realistically, like with our like Vegas weather and stuff. For an off the shelf tune, considering the heat, I would say maybe around 680 at the wheels. Okay. Yeah. 680 wheel or so on this one. And this is an X drive car, so you can get all the power to the ground for the most part, right? You said you did some launches the other day and it kind of got squirrely on you. A little you. bit, yeah. It, it still puts it mostly down, but definitely not like how it did when it was stock, <laughs> for yeah. sure. And you got the Pirelli, so, so you didn't get the tire lottery win, I unfortunately. I did not get the tire lottery, <laughs> no. But um, tell me about this car. What do you have done to it, like modification-wise? So exterior-wise, like you were saying, I've only got a few things done. Just the, uh, the front lip, and then I paint match the the calipers to, to match the interior with that Kailami orange. I noticed that it looks really good. Um, as far as exterior mods, that's mostly it. I mean, I did put some the, the Ibot lowering springs on it, which is more of like a OEM plus. It's yeah, it's not, got a nice ride to it. Yeah, not, not slam, not too aggressive, and then still maintains like the stock like ride comfort. Mm -hmm. And then um, spacers, I've got 12 millimeters in the front 15 in the back yeah you can definitely see the tires uh fit flush with the fender which is nice and then you can see the ones in the back here got a little bit of poke yeah a little, with, little wider in the back with the wide fender looks nice visually that's everything as far as um, performance mods it's got the dynan intakes um, the arm motorsports high flow cats valvetronic equal length single single mid pipe and then the SST valve controller. Right now it's on the uh, the OTS flex fuel map. Um, currently running at about E55, but that map is tuned for, um, you know, anywhere from 91 to E50. So much more responsive, definitely much more power. And it even changes the way it sounds too. And I don't know if that has anything to do with the E85, but the car's deeper now as far as the tone than it was before. Yeah, that's really nice. Got the M3. Yep. Yeah, it's Very nice still. interior. You got the full leather, which is nice. I like the full leather, so it's on the dash and everything. It's down below. Really, really nice. And this is pre LCI. This is a nice setup as well. Check out See the, the back here. Back. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Check that out. Super clean. These, these, uh, these seats are amazing. Like, it's such a nice color. Got the leather on the door panels in the back too. They didn't skimp on the back. Just high end, very high end, nice quality materials for sure. Got the little carpet lines on there. So nice. Carbon roof as well. So one thing that's kind of interesting is M3s and M4s, they have like the little like fins in the carbon roof and it has this type of antenna and mine's a little different. So my antenna looks a little different and mine doesn't have like the fins. It's more of like a indentation. So that's one thing that's pretty interesting about it. All right, guys, here's the S58 engine. You got the upgraded intakes. Still closed box, so that's pretty cool because closed box is probably better to keep the heat out, right? I think so. From what I've heard, it's, it's better for the, the intake temps. Two intakes, and then obviously we can't see the downpipe or anything, but, um, but yeah, there's, uh, there's the S58, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Too. Just a little Just bit. a tiny bit. <laughs> Alright, this is with valves closed. Wow, that's a big difference. Alright guys, setting off right off the bat. These carbon bucket seats definitely feel way different than my standard seats in my M2. Definitely hold you in really tight. Even for my tight frame, it is pretty... Uh, it is definitely hugging you in there for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Not designed for, for uh, people that are a little bit bigger. And the, the bolsters are actually adjustable as far as, there's a button over there. If you feel around, you can play with it. But they are, they are adjustable, as you saw me. And I like 
like those burbles that's pretty cool and with with boot mode you can do like the you can change like the length of the burbles and stuff too right yeah you can change the, the length of the burbles the um, duration of them you can get intensity and actually I forgot to mention this is on the XHP stage 3 transmission tune Ooh. so with that each level of the drive logic also adjusts the, the burbles and the, the shifts so on the you know level 1 setting it's relatively tame but on level 3 you get some pretty intense pops and bangs set all right Let's see how we do So good too. 
So, oh, it wasn't verified. Wow, that's crazy to 10 9. Holy shit, that's great. Never. Why was it invalid? That's weird. Was it low satellites or something? I don't know why they said it was invalid. The slope was fine. No, the slope is fine, yeah. So we did a we did a 10-9 at 127 with 400 extra pounds of weight and 100 degrees. That is so crazy. <laughs> not, not bad. That is insane. Not wow. 10-9 at 127. So that means that, because again, with like that kind of rule of thumb, that means that you'll trap like over 130 in the quarter if you're by yourself. Okay. Dominic's right on 10 second proof. Yes. And then you'll probably be like 10-5, 10-6-ish. And by the way, this is an off-the-shelf map with with a roughly E55 mix in here. So, wow, very, very, very impressed. 105 degrees, so not optimal at all, and it still did that crazy of a time. So this would absolutely demolish my M2. <laughs> really badly. I love seeing the big fender in the mirror. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that video. Huge thanks uh, to him for giving us that ride in the car. It's super fast. If I had one car, this would be the one. But I love having the M2 and the Golf. But this is, uh, this is amazing. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one. Like and subscribe.